Hi guys. Oh. Um. Yeah, I've just been having a think, and I think I'm emotionally exhausted. Listen to what this guy's saying. In Greek mythology, he was more a flame out than a burnout. When he flew into the sun on wings of wax that he had made himself and feathers that he had attached to the wax, it was to escape a labyrinth, a prison of his own invention. Now, I don't want to say that I'm, I'm in a prison, but I haven't been away from the children since the lockdown nobody's had them and there's just no me time by the time I get to bed I'm just exhausted there's no time for me to recharge my batteries as soon as you know my eyes are open I'm in mum mode they're in they're in my bedroom and it's right game on and it's just like that all day we do school work I'm working from home Charles it, it's just a lot and it, they said this morning I actually for the first time in a long time I woke up before them crept downstairs you know I didn't want to wake them and it was actually nice uh, and they were like mummy mummy where were you you want in bed because they're so used to coming into my bed and but I think now I'm going to have to get up earlier just to have that alone time. I think I need it because, yeah, I mean, I've got that decision fatigue anyway. And then this emotionally, like, I've burnt out, man. I'm just burnt out because it's like on a normal day you know would have dropped them off at school nursery being at work and work's a different environment you're with different people you're doing something different and this is like i'm it's no sir <sighs> it's just a lot man it is just a lot and it's just taking its toll now so rather than completely having a breakdown because you know this lockdown is going to be for the foreseeable i need to find ways to cope so that's why i'm it's good to educate yourself and just try and try and be the best i can be for them and me you need to i need to sort it out i like greek mythology i like the greek gods and stuff so I, I'm going to order a book because I think reading is nice and calming and relaxing. I'm going to do that. Try and get up before the kids rather than letting them get me up. Because on the evening it's just it's just a write off by the time I get them to bed. Like I said, I'm just out. I'm just like... Ugh. But some of things have got to change because... It can't carry on like this. It just can't because I've just, it's like I've got nothing left to give. But yeah, at least I'm aware of the problem and I'm going to see what this guy's got to say. He's, um, yeah, he's giving me hope. Morning, guys. It's the next day. Um, so you saw the clip and I think what is also happening is I don't want each day to be like Groundhog Day they're doing the same thing over and over again so I'm trying to find things to do you know just to keep things flowing but the problem with that is and I'll show you an example is yesterday before I filmed I was going to um, renovate sort this drawer out that's why the drawer is missing I've had this um, cabinet for about 20 years now so I thought I'll do that but the problem with that is I've got um decision I get decision fatigue so now I need to decide what colour I'm going to paint I need to get the paintbrushes I need to bring this downstairs I need to change into my decorating clothes I need to put the thing out on the grass and, and that 
I think when I'm doing these things, it, it's just making me more and more tired. So the draw is with my neighbour because I asked him like if I need to sand it or anything. So he's painting the draw, but I'm going to ask him to do the whole thing because I just can't be bothered. Um, I think also I need like a pamper day. There's a bank holiday next week. Um, you know, let's face it, all days sort of seem similar. But I'm going to um, have a pamper day, have a bath, have a do a body scrub, get some extra special to eat. I'm just going to really take time out for me next week, Monday, because I, I haven't done that yet. I mean, I've been doing my nails. I keep meaning to do a video. I'll, I'll upload it when I can, because um, I've always been into my nails. Um, but emptying out these drawers, I found this. Um, USB and it had a little um, picture loads of pictures of Jaden actually when he was two months old and he's so cute and he um, is eight now but what else did I want to say oh yeah so I did manage to get up before the kids I mean I, I was tired but he came in and he said thank you mummy for getting rid of the um, spider well it wasn't a spider it was a dragonfly but what had happened was he had gone to open up the window to say hello to the neighbor <laughs> a bit bunged up um he'd gone to open the window and the um daddy long legs had landed on his hands and he was really upset really distraught so i went upstairs to have a look and it's like oh it scared me because they're quite they're quite long out there um hence the name daddy long legs so he came in this morning to say, oh, thanks, mummy, give me a cuddle. And that made me feel really nice. And then um, Leona came in not long after. Um, but, yeah, I think I am going to have to set my alarm. I'll have to tell. Alexa, set my alarm for 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Alarm set for 6 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, maybe change that for 7. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I, I'm feeling better already. Just acknowledging the fact that I was struggling and trying to remedy it has made me feel better already. Oh yeah, also my scalp update. It's it's. I don't know if you can if you're gonna be able to see it. You can see it again. Oh, flakes. So anyway, I rang the um, I rang the doctors this morning, and um, <laughs> I thought I'll ring him. I meant to ring him on Monday, but it's on the Tuesday. So I rang them. You see me? Yeah, I rang them, and she's like, "Oh, the computer's on go slow. You must think it's Friday." I'm like, feels like every day, and we had. We had a little laugh about it because I think, you know, I would, I could sense she was like fed up as well with it. She's like, oh yeah, all days it's the same. Out. We had a little laugh and a giggle, and it was nice because it's like, oh, she's in the same situation. Do you know what I mean? Well, not same situation, but the same kind of feeling as me. And I thought like, that, it was nice just to have that kind of um, rapport. So that was nice. So yeah. Uh, well. And even introduce myself my name is Alicia welcome to my channel um, I'm a mum of two I have NS and I upload every Saturday so please join the rose petal family um, it's just a quick video I just wanted to share how um, I was feeling and it is okay not to be okay um, <laughs> um, oh yeah and I linked the video of the guy that was watching I mean it's only five minutes long but he really uplifted me. The guy knows what he's talking about. You don't have to watch it, but it, it's just really helped me and kick-started me to starting to feel like me again. Um, I think having this bank holiday break will help, you know, not being at work. And I might even um, book a few more days off as well, you know, just to really recharge and switch, switch off. I think I need that but you know when you don't realize you need that until the horse is bolted 
anyway yeah thank you very much for um watching guys and i'll see you in the next one adios